Last week, Samsung announced the Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which have a short novel's worth of new features. But there are five features in particular that I want to see Apple steal for the next iPhone, aka the heavily rumored iPhone 12. I want to say this up front though, that uh, the design, the hardware features for the next iPhone have likely been locked in months ago. But that doesn't mean we can't help wonder how nice it would be to see some of these Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features on the iPhone 12 or even the iPhone 13. Too soon? Both Apple and Samsung have much different approaches when it comes to adding features to their phone. We know that Samsung loves to cram in as many features as possible to give their users everything they want and more, especially the latter. Apple, on the other hand, typically introduces new features to solve an existing problem or to enhance a user experience. And that difference between Apple and Samsung is significant. And I highly doubt that Apple would add any of the features I'm gonna mention, well, just add them. With all that out of the way, here are five features from the Galaxy Note 20 that I think Apple should consider adopting for the iPhone 12. And the first one is, the iPhone 12 needs a real telephoto camera. So in February, Samsung released the Galaxy S20 Ultra, which has a four times optical zoom and a hundred times space zoom, AKA digital zoom. The new Galaxy Note Ultra has a five times optical zoom with a 50 times digital zoom. And the iPhone 11 Pro has a two times optical zoom. So yeah, I'm not saying the iPhone 12 needs space zoom, actually no phone really does, but if the iPhone 12 had a three times or four times optical zoom, that would be really welcomed. Currently, Apple offers the best overall camera system for photos and videos on any phone. However, many high-end Android phones have a much bigger zoom range on their cameras. And who knows if Apple would solely rely on hardware to give the iPhone 12 a better zoom range. It could follow in Google's footsteps on the Google Pixel 4 and implement a software-based zoom that uses machine learning and Apple's powerful A-series chips, probably the A14 processor on the next iPhone to improve the results. Okay, the next feature Apple should add is Apple Pencil support for the iPhone 12. Obviously the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's biggest feature is the stylus, AKA the S Pen. And the latest S Pen when used with the Note 20 has a latency of nine milliseconds, meaning from the time you touch the screen with the S Pen to the time the screen slash phone reacts to it is fast. In fact, it's the same exact latency as the Apple Pencil is on the iPad Pro. But one dream many of us have hoped for is the ability to use an Apple Pencil on an iPhone, especially if you have a, the larger Max version. I hope that Apple Pencil support will come with the iPhone 12. I mean, iOS 14 brought picture in picture video from the iPad to the iPhone. So let's keep that iPad to iPhone synergy and keep that feature trend flowing. Come on. And who knows, maybe Apple, maybe Apple would make an Apple Pencil mini. I mean, come on, I would buy that. You'd probably buy that. All right, the next feature Apple needs to add for the iPhone 12 is a high refresh rate display. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra display is high refresh rate, and as opposed to refreshing 60 times a second like the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is capable of refreshing its display 120 times a second. Similarly, the iPad Pro has a ProMotion display with 120 hertz refresh rate. So it basically does the same thing. It's time to see such a screen on an iPhone. Even if it's 90 Hertz, the iPhone 12 needs to have a high refresh rate display. Apple arcade games would look amazing. Animations in iOS would look super smooth. And if the iPhone 12 does get Apple Pencil support, that high refresh rate screen would be a must. All right, the next feature, Apple needs to add is, well, a smaller notch. I believe Samsung has the best approach when it comes to maximizing screen real estate and making room for the front-facing camera. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra sports a hole-punch screen that is both attractive and useful. The iPhone 12 needs to find a way to revamp the iPhone 10 notch, which seems large by today's standards. Obviously, Apple has more than just the front-facing camera to account for, so there's Face ID and all its components that are also on the front. So while I would love to see a hole-punch display on the iPhone 12, I don't know if it's possible. However, if Apple found a way 
just to make the notch smaller on the iPhone 12. That would be a significant aesthetic improvement. Okay, so here's the last feature that Apple should steal from the Note 20 Ultra. Gorilla Glass Victus for better durability. Now, every time a new iPhone is released, our team of expert droppers test the new devices to see how durable they are. The iPhone 11 Pro proved to be one of the most durable iPhones CNET has ever tested. But those drop tests were conducted before the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and its Gorilla Glass Victus body came out. The new Gorilla Glass is twice as scratch resistant as Gorilla Glass 6 and can survive drops from 2 meters versus 1.6 meters. So in theory, that means a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra could survive a drop when you're standing, holding the phone up to your ear like on a call. Pretty good. For years, Apple has worked with Corning, the manufacturer of Gorilla Glass, on a custom version for the iPhone. And I'm hopeful we'll see a version of Gorilla Glass Victus or a customization that Apple makes for the iPhone 12. So that's all I got, but I wanna hear from you. What do you think about the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? What's your favorite new feature? And what feature do you think Apple should adopt for the next iPhone? Throw your thoughts in the comments.